let's have a little chat about the new character, Kanish. I've seen some other creator videos, I've done the test run, and I've looked at some of the different weapons and options for this character. There's some pretty good free-to-play options for builds like the Earthshaker, and if you're farming for uh, Mulani, you can also use that uh, artifact set on him, so it's relatively easy to get both up and running if you ended up pulling her. I think that pretty much everyone can get a team comp going because Shang Ling is a decent option to get some burning going and allow his kit to thrive. However, I'm not 100% sure if I would be going for this character currently. I also question if the Archon is going to open up some doors and make him better. But there's one thing that Kanish does better than pretty much anyone else, and that is some of the exploration. Now, I understand that I'm a very combat-focused guy, but this game is full of movement and exploring and moving around this map is something that needs to be done. And his movement is relatively quick, and the fact that you can cross big gaps or get on top of things with his grapple is pretty darn good. And when you pair it with some other people like Kazuha that might be able to boost you into the air and then you jump off something, it allows for some interesting interactions where you're jumping off something, swapping over, boosting again, and, you know, crossing gaps quickly that you couldn't before. Is this character a must-pull? Is this character worth it? Are they even good? Let's have a little bit of a more in-depth discussion and look at some of the gameplay. But first... Whoa! I just got invited to a pool party, and they told me to wear something nice. This video is sponsored by Marvel Strike Force. There's a massive Deadpool and Wolverine pool party going on right now in Marvel Strike Force, and there's some insane rewards for all new players that are joining the game. Marvel Strike Force is a turn-based hero collector RPG, and there's a brand new pool member who just arrived with some of the most glorious hair I've ever seen. However, Thanos is now here as well, ready to take on his opponents with devastating power! If you're interested in trying a new game, there's never been a better time because there's some juicy codes to get your account rolling. So, uh, what are you waiting for? New players can use code MUTANT to get themselves Deadpool and Wolverine as well as some other goodies. There's also other characters you can unlock just from playing the game, so before you know it, you're going to have a stacked roster to take on the campaign, the arena, and even Alliance Wars. So, what are you waiting for? Click the link down below and play Marvel Strike Force today. Thank you so much for sponsoring my video, and make sure to use promo code MUTANT. So for me, exploration-wise, Kanish, pretty darn cool. But there's one thing that frustrates me with all of the characters of Natlin so far, and that is the Night Soul Burst mechanics. Night Soul Burst is a super powerful thing. These Night Soul, uh, you know, reactions or whatever you want to call them are going to be crazy and they allow your characters to do much more damage. And when you start looking at the different things that are available, some of the characters do like 50% less damage if you aren't using these mechanics. And so... I have a feeling that the Pyro Archon is going to make it easier to proc these for all characters in the game, or extend the durations, or something, if I had to guess. Or else, I'm not sure, um, you know, what revolutionary game-changing thing that the Archon will do. I hope that that's what it is, because some of these things are pretty cool, but making them work and being able to use a large variety of characters to do it... I personally think that's kind of annoying. Now, I am hoping that the Archon will allow for burning with Kanish, but also the ability to proc those uh, those Night Soul Blessings as easy as humanly possible. If not, I would probably steer away from this guy myself. Because I look at the current roster of Natlin characters that are available, and I say, I don't know if I want to use them with him. I don't know if that's 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 really worth it. And um, I look at some of the other DPS-type units that are available to use with someone like a Shang Ling or a Bandit and all these things, and I feel like I would rather make them the hyper carry first. I'm not going to do the math on every single damage dealer out there, but it's just the vibe that I get. And I do have one gripe over the gameplay. With Kanish, you can jump onto a target, and you can start moving around here, and you can find these different things on the ground, and you can do these big shots, and that's cool and all. However, I do not like the feel of this 
and I worry for people on mobile um, to move around here and get multiple usages of the Big Shot off consistently all the time. Now, you can get two of them off really easy. And if you use your ultimate while you're doing that grappling, you can also, um, you know, extend the duration of the grapple and you can get a third shot off. And if you've got other people that are helping burn and do Night Soul stuff, you can sometimes even get four of them off because of how quickly you will charge uh, the big shot. But I just don't know if I like the way it feels. When I play a character, a lot of the gameplay and, and what I care about is the feel of the character and if it's enjoyable to play. And I think this is going to be a really good example here. When you're in situations like this, where you're you're fighting on top of um, you know terrain like this, he can get he can get really bad and 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 miss shots there. And I understand that I'm playing him poorly, but there are certain situations where a boss in the abyss or or different things will stuff themselves against a wall, and he's not going to function properly. And there's certain hitboxes um, like the new red dragon boss that you can't go around them properly and use his grappling attack properly. And I, I think that that is a, a, a big issue. Now, in some ways, Kanish has a feeling kind of like Ayato, where his skill feels like the main part of his kit, and his ultimate is like a boring thing that you don't care about as much. The reason I say that is Kanish summons in the uh, Aja, uh, Aya. He summons in a dragon. And it's cool. Like, it's, it's cool for sure. Visually... I love it, but um, the fact that he's like a burning character and he's he's gonna be hitting them with Dendro and you're burning with other characters, I would assume or I would think that there would be more damage maybe with the burning type stuff in his kit, but a lot of it is is just make something burn so that you can do a big shot and hit them and do more damage, and it just doesn't feel. It just, it, it feels like I want a burning team to function, but all of my damage is based on this huge multiplier big shot, but I can't vape that big shot, and I just don't like it. I just, it doesn't feel cool to me. I don't want to build a team around it as much as other different units. Even with Ayato, it's like, well, how can I apply enough pyro that he's vaping like crazy? How can I set up... Uh, you know, Ayaka with a big frozen group of enemies and then nuke them with my ultimate. This playstyle, while I can understand would be satisfying to some people, it always feels like something is missing for me. I just, I'm missing something that feels like a wow factor. And I honestly feel like it's playing a mini game with him when I'm grappling around and doing my attacks more than anything that isn't satisfying. It's just kind of annoying. So where am I at with Kanish? The fact that he works so well with a free craftable weapon is cool. But it's one of those things where until I see more Natlin characters of 4-star and 5-star variety to support and function in these teams, I almost want to wait on most of them. It's easy enough to get Mulani working, and it's easy enough to get him working and doing good things. But... I am hesitant to fully invest into a lot of these Natlin characters until we see the Archon and until we see, honestly, the full cast. Which is frustrating because it might not be months before I could get this character again if I end up skipping. So I understand people's frustration. But for me, I would rather play the waiting game, if anything, and I'm going to be skipping for sure. So that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Click that link down below for the sponsorship, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.